Cincinnati Music Theater is about to kick off its 61st season with the beloved musical Matilda the Musical. All right, yeah, the production promises to delight audiences of all ages with its engaging story, the stunning visuals, and of course the talented all-volunteer cast. That's right. Plus, you can get involved by donating books through Matilda's Book Drive for the Queen City Book Bank. This is all very cool. To tell more about the exciting show, we have Jamie Cybris uh, joining us today, who plays the hilarious Mr. Wormwood, and April Pursley, <laughs> who brings the caring Miss Honey to life. Thanks so much for being here. We appreciate you guys Thanks taking the time us. to Thanks come in. Um, so I guess for those unfamiliar, can you tell us a little bit about the storyline of Matilda? So Matilda is the story of an extraordinary little girl with extra, she's got superpowers and she's not appreciated or loved by her parents very much. So she goes into school and she meets Miss Honey and they kind of form a bond and um, there is also a villain, Miss Trunchbull, and she kind of helps the children and Miss Honey kind of defeat Miss Trunchbull, she kind of helps them write their own story. Yeah, I think fun. I remember this. Yes, yeah. I remember this. Okay. Yeah. Jamie, what has been the most uh, fun aspect for you of playing your character, Mr. Wormwood? Yes, <laughs> Matilda's uh, father. So, yeah. you know, sometimes you get to play characters that have emotional depth and, and, and a lot of, you know, uh, a lot of things that you want to figure out and, and you really put yourself in the place of, why would my character do this? Uh, Mr. Wormwood has none of that. <laughs> uh, he is he is as arrogant as he is dumb, um, and so it's almost cartoonish, you know. Oh boy! Um, and it's of course you're still trying to do things in character, but he's just he's so goofily stupid, you know. And it's just really fun to step into that sometimes and really play into that. And it's it's just. I mean, it's funny. It's meant to be yeah. funny, and and so that's you know. That's good. Yeah, yeah. you can see yeah. it on your face. You enjoy yeah. like oh, playing this yeah, character it is. here. I mean, it's, yeah. it's very silly. It's just very silly. Um, <laughs> you know, especially one of the one of the last scenes we have. It just it feels like it's out of a cartoon. You yeah. Know? Yeah. yeah. Well, April. So let's talk then with you too. Like with Miss Honey, how do you bring that character to life on the stage? So Miss Honey is quite opposite uh, from <laughs> Mr. Wormwood, and she kind of comes from a dark past. So in order to bring her to life. Her and I are very different people. I'm very outgoing. She's very introverted. Um, so I have to kind of find my her her life on stage, kind of living through the kids and and living there through their happiness mm -hmm. and finding finding who she is through those children, especially her bond with Matilda. She really starts to bring Miss Honey to life and gives her 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 personality, like who she is. Yeah. These, these these kids, this job is what she finds is her happiness. So, oh. well, let me let me lean into that a little bit for both of you guys. What has been the most rewarding part of this show for both of you? Well, I think you know, as you mentioned, it's all volunteer, and I think we all are a part of this community for the community aspect. So that's certainly it. Not I, the money. Not not the money. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but I think in this show, you know, there are, half of our cast are children, yeah, and, mm -hmm. and just watching them bring their parts of the story to life. I mean, it's. I stand back in awe, you know, Ooh. I mean, I think they are absolutely wonderful. Um, and it's just so cool to, to have young actors on stage and, you know, doing their thing as well. So that's been yeah. really rewarding. Yeah. That's kind of the same for me. They're, um, it, it is fun. It's a lot of fun to see the kids. I mean, I remember being a kid mm -hmm. so long ago, but, <laughs> <laughs> but really just to kind of see them and, and enjoying themselves mm -hmm. and, and having the fun in the moment. There's a song um, that, I, that I am a part of called When I Grow Up, and I actually kind of get teared up before I go out oh, on yeah. stage because you get, these kids are having so much fun. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's kind of neat. Yeah. Well, and I, another aspect, we want to make sure we mentioned too is the book drive here you yeah. partnered with Queen City Book Bank it is such a wonderful initiative uh, Matilda's book drive tell us how people could take part in that yeah we're just asking folks to to bring books um, to donate we will have uh, collection bins outside of the shows uh, and you know K I think it's K through sixth grade books for K through six um, new and used I believe we're requesting new I believe okay. that's but um, and and they do a really wonderful job of Dispersing them for little libraries um, to families who might need some new books, uh, you know, with children. So, um, you know, just a great way to help share the love, share Matilda's love of reading. Share so. the love. Yeah, what about awesome. tickets? Where can people go to get tickets? I'm sure they're going to want to go to this. Yeah. CincinnatiArts.org is where they can get okay. tickets. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, CincinnatiArts.org. Awesome. And when and where is Matilda the Musical taking place? It is at um, the Aronoff at the, is it Charles Kaplan? Jar Jarson, Jarson Kaplan, Kaplan Theater. Kaplan mm -hmm. And at the it's Aronoff. November 8th to 16th. With a, right. We added a second matinee, actually. So the 16th actually has a matinee and an evening show. Oh, so, nice. Yeah. Love it. So, awesome. Yeah. 
All right. Well, April, Jamie, thanks so yeah. much for being here. Break a leg. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for having <laughs> Thank us. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. <laughs>